hi there welcome back to the next video and in this video I will show you the impact of forward selection and if you have already used it and not found out the output and feeling frustrated why it is not uh, giving you the output I will show you the way the right way in which you can use it so right now it is showing you the value that it the previous value that it takes with dollar one and dollar two Let's convert this to a dollar underscore one and dollar underscore two. And if you see that nothing is coming and if I click on done, still nothing is coming. If I'm selecting consumer, nothing is coming, nothing is coming, nothing is coming with any selection. Probably you may have frustrated after that and you have closed it or if not, and if you are still learning, let's see how it makes an impact. It makes an impact based on uh, how we are go moving up, uh, moving forward or moving back. So right now we are only moving forward in this case. So it has basically recorded all the selection. So if I go one step back by clicking over here, step back, you will see 14.92 is basically the first value that it had captured. If I go two step back, it says 12.13 12 probably the first two selections that we have made if I go one step more back you will see 8.56 and 12.13 so what it does is uh, at the very start it will not show you the value but it will keep on uh, recording the selections that you are taking and based on uh, when you go back actually it, it will keep on showing you the the recorded forward selection value whether the first forward second forward and third forward uh, value into your KPI or in the chart many times we want to record that as we are moving back and forth into the analysis and if there is a need that we want to see the forward selections in in this kind of a scenario then we can straight away use the dollar one dollar underscore two so and so forth based on the needs that we have very very helpful in scenarios like where you have years so let's say if you have selected if first of all you have not selected anything that or entire data is coming then you select the current year that will be your first forward selection then you have selected the second last year that will be your second selection and if you have uh, a kpi or a chart like this in which you want to show all of the values where current value previous value previous to previous value or forward value or forward forward value then you can basically uh, use the dollar underscore one or dollar one that i explained in the previous video uh, all of those at your disposal based on what analysis you have in hand so that's what i basically wanted to show you and give you an example where you can use it and probably here is i found a simple example where we can really connect with that and utilize it so i really recommend that you go ahead and use it and i will meet you in the new video with a new topic